This is me 115 days ago, before I decided to lose weight. And this is me now, over 40 pounds of fat lower, leaner, stronger than ever. But the thing is, throughout this whole fat loss journey, I didn't get hungry. Not once. And by the end of this video, I plan on explaining to you exactly how I did it. But first, we need to explain what hunger is. Hunger. It's more than just a grumbling stomach. It's a complex signal, a hormonal neurological tug of war between your body's energy needs and your brain's response. So if you're trying to lose fat, especially like I did, over 40 pounds in 115 days, hunger can feel like your biggest enemy. But here's the twist. I did it without feeling hungry. And to understand how that's even possible, let's first break down what hunger actually is, and more importantly, what controls it. What is hunger? Hunger is your body's way of telling your brain, hey, I need fuel. But here's the key. It's not just about energy, it's about hormones. The two main hormones that regulate hunger is ghrelin and leptin. Ghrelin is often called the hunger hormone. It's produced mainly in your stomach and tells your brain it's time to eat. Think of it like your body's internal dinner bell. Leptin, on the other hand, is the satiety hormone, or however you want to pronounce that. It's produced by your fat cells and tells your brain, we're good, we're good enough, energy is sorted. When these hormones are in balance, you eat when you're hungry and you stop when you're full. But when you start to lose weight, especially body fat, that balance gets disrupted. Ghrelin, leptin, and why they matter for fat loss. When you reduce your calorie intake to lose weight, ghrelin increases and leptin decreases. This is your body's natural survival mechanism. It doesn't know when you're trying to get leaner, it thinks you're starving. A 2011 study published by the New England Journal of Medicine showed that ghrelin levels remained elevated and leptin levels suppressed for over a year after initial weight loss, making it harder to maintain fat long term. That's why during the first few weeks of a diet, people often feel hungrier than ever. Your brain is adapting, your hormones are fighting back, and your brain is telling you to eat, even if you don't want to. But here's where things get interesting. Part 3. How I beat hunger without starving. Let me explain how I personally managed granola and leptin levels so I could lose over 40 pounds without suffering from that primal hunger. Number 1. Meal timing and composition. One of the first things I optimized was what and when I ate. I front-loaded my protein intake early in the day. Studies have shown that high-protein breakfasts reduce post-meal granola levels more effectively than high-carb ones. I also reduce my carbs in the morning, especially refined ones. Why? Because simple carbs spike blood sugar, what drops fast and causes rebound hunger. Protein and fat, on the other hand, give you a stable energy and keep you full longer. This not only lowered my hunger throughout the day, but also helped me keep my leptin sensitivity in check. Number 2. Calorie deficit gradually introduced. Rather than just slashing my calories right away, I started with a mild deficit, around 15% below my maintenance. This kept my hunger manageable and allowed my body to adjust slowly. As I progressed, I cycled in high calorie days, known as refeeds. This technique has been shown to temporarily raise my leptin and prevent metabolic adaptation. Number 3. Filling time, not just my stomach. Here's something people don't talk about enough. A lot of hunger isn't physiological, it's psychological. If you're bored and active and emotionally distracted, your brain will often trigger false hunger. So I started filling my day with structure and light movement. Morning walks, low intensity cardio while listening to podcasts and working while I'm studying or stretching. These simple habits blunted fake hunger signals because I wasn't just sitting around waiting for my next meal. Number four, hydration and volume eating. Another big one is hydration. Mild dehydration is often misread by the brain as hunger. I made sure to drink water first any time I thought I was hungry. Plus, I focus on volume dense foods, leafy greens, brothy soups, fibrous veggies. These foods are low in calories, but takes up a lot of space in your stomach, helping suppress ghrelin naturally. So what do we learn from this? Here's the bottom line. Hunger isn't your enemy. It's a signal, it's feedback. And when you don't understand what drives it, especially hormones like ghrelin and leptin, you gain the power to control your fat loss journey instead of letting hunger control you. I didn't beat hunger with willpower. I beat it with strategy, guided by science. And if I can lose 40 pounds without starving, you can too. So let's have a little rundown of things I did to lose 40 pounds. You need to understand what ghrelin and leptin are. If you don't understand how they work, it's a bit hard to structure your diet so you can progressively lose weight. You also need to remember how to feel your days. If you don't feel your days and you're distracted, you may feel false hunger. That's dangerous because it could lead you to eat a surplus without actually being hungry. Understand that you need to also have a gradual decrease in calories, 15% per week for the first couple of weeks until you reach just below 500 calories maintenance is probably optimal for most people. And probably the most important thing that I didn't describe in this video previously is that it's okay to relapse. I know in this video I said I wasn't hungry and that for the most part is true but I relapsed because I didn't fill my time accordingly or I didn't eat the correct foods. I wasn't necessarily hungry, but I did it because I wanted to self-sabotage. And that's completely fine. Fat loss isn't linear, it's a continuum. And if you can get up higher than what you were before, you're gonna be progressing. As long as you're progressing, you're gonna be okay. 
Progress is your friend. It's okay to fail as long as you learn from it and do better next time. If you want to lose weight like I did, there's a lot more videos coming out soon, so please subscribe. I will see you soon.